my favorite words that a quarterback has is his moxie, what he represents. And, um, you know, I'm not your typical quarterback by any means. I kind of have a very different original type of game. And one thing is I'm extremely tough. I love taking shots. I love running the ball. Um, I love making things happen. And I'm pretty wild out there. I, uh, I'm not a very structured in a sense. I, I don't like to throw it away if I can pick up five yards on the ground. Um, I pretty, pretty much go out there and have a good time, and I'm pretty free. System quarterback. It's a term usually applied to QBs who are deemed to be in an advantageous position, able to put up gaudy numbers, mainly because they're simply a working cog in a well-managed machine. It carries a negative connotation that said player would not necessarily be able to accomplish the same feats if he were in a different offense. Despite posting perhaps the greatest statistical season for any quarterback in the history of college football, Cole Brennan has been labeled by some a system guy. After all, he's in the run and shoot and seemingly throws the ball almost every down. But how much is it the system? How much is it the player? In other words, just how good of a quarterback is Colt Brennan? His coach admits the system can make the player better, but in this case, the player might be making the system better. number one offense and he broke 20 all-time NCAA records and we haven't done that we've had a pretty good quarterback in Timmy Chang and Nick Rolovich. The system makes uh, average quarterbacks better and makes uh, good quarterbacks great ones. I think sometimes though that people try and you know at the same time use that to discredit something that maybe I've done or guys have done here in the past and you know I just think the one thing is you just got to watch us every game you know you, you can't sit there and look at a stat sheet and say you know about a football player you got to sit there and watch that guy every week every Saturday. Those who have the privilege of watching Colt every weekend see the plays that he's able to make outside the system when improvisation is required. We've done a great job last year especially of um, you know even the year before of making things happen when, when things break down and we don't rely on our system I think that's something that you can see when you watch us play we don't rely on our system if our system breaks down if something doesn't work we just break away and we go do what we do you know he's got a great uh, ability which the great ones have when when things don't go the way they are they they can improvise and uh, you know Joe Montana had the ability to do that Elway had the ability to do that and Colts got the ability to do that so it's it's uh, that little something different you know that makes them a little better and one of our best attributes, this football team, this offense, is making things happen when the system breaks down. Whether it's running back and forth and creating a play or just having fun with it, we have tons of highlights, touchdowns and whatnot of us doing that. And I think that just goes to show that we're not just a system football team, and I'm not just a system quarterback. I get a feeling there's going to be a riot. I don't read the newspapers because they all have but if it's statistics you want, you need only to look at the accuracy numbers. Brennan broke the NCAA record for passing efficiency, posting a mark of 186, and led the nation in completion percentage, connecting on nearly 73% of his throws. Systems can open up firing lanes, but getting the ball from point A to point B with that kind of consistency still rests upon the shoulders of the guy behind the center. The completion percentage is a, a tell-all, you know what I mean? If you, add, if you were really to add up all the drop balls we had last year, which I think was 54, that were just right on the money, I mean, he, he's completing close to 80-something 80, 80 percent of his passes. I mean, I've never, I couldn't, I played in the NFL five years and couldn't do that on the, on, out in the parking lot with a couple guys. In the run and shoot offense, you know, no, no, no quarterback came, you know, has ever done what we did last year as an offense and, and what I was a part of. And, you know, if, if that's the case, you know, no one's ever come close to that. You know, I mean, I think that says that there's something more, but more here than just the system. And Brennan wants more, spending extra time in film sessions and in the weight room, trying to improve on a 2006 that put him in a league of his own. You know, you're surrounded by good coaches, and then, you know, you put the effort in to watch enough film. You know, good things are going to happen, and last year good things happened. So I just know that, you know, as a quarterback, you got to keep those things up. you got to work hard on the field, off and on the field at the same level. Still wondering about that system label? Coach Jones has one last piece of Hall of Fame evidence to present. Jim Kelly was, quote, a system quarterback prior to going to Buffalo, so I think that kind of solves that. You know, as far as the system quarterback, you're right. I am a system quarterback. I ran the system pretty well last year, and I know that if you're an NFL guy, you want your quarterback to run the system really well, and I, I can guarantee I'll be a system guy in the NFL. So if that's what you want, that's what you'll get. <laughs>